Imagine a weapon that can literally change its shape mid-flight. It tucks in its wings to scream through the air at over 3,800 miles per hour, then pops them back out for shockingly sharp maneuvers. This isn't science fiction anymore. A streak of vapor flashes past at over Mach 5. There's no warning and no chance of interception, just pure, relentless speed. Chinese military scientists have just revealed a prototype that does exactly that. Today, we're breaking down the engineering genius, and the terrifying military implications, of this new shape-shifting hypersonic vehicle. For decades, the world's superpowers have been in a dead sprint for hypersonic supremacy. The goal? The power to strike anywhere on Earth at speeds so fast they make conventional defenses useless. But this race has always been handcuffed by a basic law of physics, the trade-off between speed and control. An aircraft built for the insane velocity of hypersonic flight, that's anything over Mach 5, has to be sleek and sharp to cut down on drag and survive scorching heat. But that minimalist design also makes it about as easy to steer as a bullet. On the other hand, a vehicle built for agility, with big wings and control surfaces, would be torn to shreds by the forces of hypersonic speed. You could have speed, or you could have maneuverability. You couldn't have both. Until now. In a peer-reviewed paper published in China's top aerospace journal, Acta Aeronautica et Astronautica Sinica, a team from the National University of Defense Technology, NUDT, announced they haven't just designed, but successfully tested a prototype of a morphing hypersonic vehicle. This isn't just another missile, it's a whole new class of aerospace platform that can dynamically change its own shape during flight. It has two personalities. One is a blazingly fast missile, the other a highly agile glider. This capability has long been considered the holy grail of hypersonic engineering. It's a potential solution to a problem that has stumped aerospace engineers for generations. By cracking this, China hasn't just taken a step forward, it has taken a quantum leap, signaling a new era where the rules of air warfare are being completely rewritten. And the key to this breakthrough is one stunning innovation, morphing wings. So, how did Chinese scientists actually crack the code? The answer is a design that's brilliantly simple in concept but insanely complex to pull off. The vehicle has a pair of retractable wings that can fold into the body or extend out, all while traveling at more than five times the speed of sound. This lets the vehicle switch between two main modes, a high-speed cruise mode and a high-maneuverability lift mode. In speed mode, the wings are tucked into the body, creating a sleek, needle-like shape. This is all about minimizing drag and, just as important, managing heat. At Mach 5, Air friction can heat the surface to over 2,000 degrees Celsius, hot enough to melt steel. By showing the smallest possible profile, the vehicle slices through the air with maximum efficiency. Think of a competitive diver pulling their arms in to spin faster, same idea, but at speeds that are hard to wrap your head around. But speed is only half the story. When the mission calls for it, whether to dodge an interceptor, adjust for a moving target, or set up its final attack, the vehicle switches to lift mode. The wings expand outward, generating huge aerodynamic lift and giving it a whole new level of control. The uncontrollable spear suddenly turns into a responsive glider, able to make sharp turns and unpredictable moves that are impossible for any fixed-wing hypersonic weapon. Making this change at hypersonic speeds is an engineering nightmare. The forces are enormous, and the slightest wobble could rip the vehicle apart. This is where the NUDT team's real genius shines. To manage it, they created a revolutionary flight control system using a super-twisting sliding mode control algorithm. Without getting lost in the jargon, this is a sophisticated, AI-driven system that predicts and cancels out the violent forces and vibrations that happen during the morphing process. It keeps the vehicle stable with a tracking error of less than one degree, ensuring a smooth transition between speed and agility. Of course, the software is nothing without the hardware. The wings and their moving parts have to be built from advanced materials, likely top-secret composites and heat-resistant alloys, that can handle both the extreme heat and incredible stress. And to prove their design was more than a computer model, 
the scientists ran extensive hardware in the loop ground tests. These simulations connect the vehicle's actual components to real-world flight data, confirming that the controls and parts can work together under the brutal conditions of hypersonic flight. This crucial step suggests the technology is well past the theory stage and viable for real-world deployment. The engineering is brilliant, but what it means for global strategy is frankly terrifying. A weapon that's both unbelievably fast and incredibly nimble is the ultimate military trump card. It blends the raw speed of a ballistic missile with the tricky flight path of a cruise missile, creating a threat that's almost impossible for current defense systems to track and stop. For decades, missile defense has relied on a predictable model. Ballistic missiles fly high into the atmosphere in a big arc, which makes them vulnerable to interceptors like the US THAAD and Aegis systems. Slower cruise missiles can be spotted by radar and shot down. This new Chinese vehicle could make that model obsolete. It flies low and fast, staying below the radar for most of its flight. By the time it's detected, its ability to make sharp, unpredictable turns means any interceptor missile fired at it would probably be chasing a ghost. This poses a direct threat to high-value military assets, especially naval fleets. An aircraft carrier, for instance, is a symbol of power projection, but it's also a big, slow-moving target. A swarm of these morphing hypersonic missiles could, in theory, approach a carrier group at Mach 5, dodge its layered defenses, and land a devastating blow with almost zero warning. This technology could allow China to enforce its anti-access, area denial, A2, AD, strategy, creating a no-go zone for naval forces across huge areas of the Pacific. This weapon could also be used to hit critical command centers, airbases, and satellite ground stations. By taking out these key targets at the very start of a conflict, a nation could paralyze its opponent's ability to fight back, tipping the balance of power before the battle has even really begun. This isn't just a better version of an old weapon, it's a new kind of threat that could fundamentally change the math of modern warfare. This prototype wasn't unveiled in a vacuum. It's the latest move in a high-stakes chess match between the United States, China, and Russia. All three powers are aggressively developing hypersonic weapons, but China's proven success with a morphing vehicle suggests it may have just pulled ahead in a key part of the race. For years, the US has been working on its own hypersonic systems, like the Navy's conventional prompt strike and the Air Force's ARRW program, but these projects have seen mixed results and delays. Russia claims to have fielded weapons like the Zircon and Avangard, though their true capabilities are still debated. China, however, has not only deployed weapons like the DF-17 glide vehicle, but is now clearly pushing into next-generation technologies that solve some of the deepest problems of hypersonic flight. This development will almost certainly spark a frantic response from the Pentagon and its allies. The immediate focus will be on creating countermeasures. That means a new generation of low-Earth orbit satellites for better tracking, plus investment in advanced interceptors like directed energy weapons. Japan has already called for a multi-domain shield partly in response to China's advancing capabilities. The arms race is no longer just about who is fastest, it's about who is most adaptable. China's breakthrough is forcing a major strategic rethink everywhere. It puts enormous pressure on Western military planners to not only develop their own similar weapons but also to build the defensive shield needed to counter them. This escalates the global arms race, creating a less stable world where the time to make a decision in a crisis shrinks from hours to minutes. The hypersonic age is here, and with this morphing technology, China may have just rewritten the rules. From a pure engineering standpoint, China's morphing hypersonic vehicle is a massive achievement. It solves a core contradiction of high-speed flight and marks a genuine leap forward in aerospace design. But this tech won't stay in the lab. It's a weapon, one that mixes speed and agility in a way that poses a serious challenge to global military stability. It signals the end of the fixed-wing era and the dawn of a new age of intelligent, adaptive weapons. The big question now is how the world will respond. Will this technology become the key to military dominance in the 21st century, or will countermeasures be developed just as fast, continuing the endless cat-and-mouse game of military tech? Let us know what you think this all means for the future of warfare in the comments below.
And if you want to stay ahead of the curve on the tech and tactics that are shaping our world, make sure to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and hit that notification bell. You won't want to miss what we have coming up next.